Are you preparing to paint the exterior of your house? Do any of the older paint coats contain lead? Whether you are a homeowner overseeing this yourself or a contractor, this is a step-by-step -step how to presentation of most everything required for a lead paint house painting project from setup and preparation to disposal and documentation. Contractors must comply with all regulations and ensure that the homeowner signs the necessary paperwork before the project begins. Check EPA manual for instructions on how to do a proper lead paint test. Using gloves, a utility knife, and a ground tarp, test for lead. Squeeze, shake, and apply swab. If the swab turns red or pink, the paint is lead positive. For assurance, test in several areas. Contractors should make sure the homeowner has a copy of the lead paint handbook. The homeowner must sign the form inside the handbook and give it to the party responsible for the project before the work begins. Move everything at least 10 feet away from the home, including furniture, garden hoses, etc. Contractors, move anything the homeowner may have overlooked away from the house. For everyone's safety and convenience, and especially to prevent debris from entering the home's interior, provide a portable outdoor restroom at the work site. For reference, here are views of the front, back, and south side of the house prior to the start of the project. Homeowners, if you are hiring a contractor, make sure all ground services are vacuum clean and clear to at least 10 feet away from the home before any actual work begins. Before the project begins, refer to the EPA guidelines to determine where liability falls. Contractors, HEPA vacuum the entire ground surface. Even if the homeowner has already cleaned, go over everything again as an extra precaution. Sift through all loose dirt, at least 10 feet from the house. Set up a staging area to store equipment and supplies for the duration of the project. Neatly cover the workstation at the end of each and every workday. Begin the protection process by rolling out ground cover along the sides of the house and then cut each side to size. Starting from flush against the outer walls, unfold each section from the walls outward. Use caution around all greenery, flowers, plants, bushes, and trees. Tape the ground cover to the foundation along all impacted areas. Lay lumber along all edges and use clips along fencing to hold ground cover in place. Tape all seams together to eliminate any gaps. Carefully clip vertical wall protection to gutters and roof edges. Start at one end and work your way across. Some projects require a more elaborate protection system. Plastic piping and framing are great alternatives. Once the wall protection is hung, Pull the bottom edges away from the house and line them up with the outside edges of the ground cover. Curl these ends together tightly and secure with clips and tape. Install zipper doors at all access points. Tape an additional protective flap over each zipper door, starting above and ending below the zipper. Although the healthy painting solution most always means using full protection, according to regulations, Using no vertical wall protection is acceptable under certain conditions. Carefully seal around all greenery. Fully cover only when working in that area. While covered, monitor for signs of problems caused by sunlight, heat, and or lack of air. Greenery may be partially uncovered when no work is ongoing in that area, as long as the area has first been properly cleaned. Once all protection is in place, Check that everything is properly sealed and secured. Go inside the house and seal all windows, doors, and vents that fall within the work zone. This will prevent debris from entering the house. Seal all garage doors, windows, and vents that are attached to the house. A properly protected house should look similar to this. Lead paint work requires personal protection, beginning with coveralls. Next is your mask. Make sure you use one that meets EPA recommendations. Then, put on your goggles and gloves. Once again, check to be sure that all edges and seams are properly sealed.
put up caution tape along all access points, as well as caution signs. In order to keep anyone from tracking debris inside, place walk-on, walk-off sticky mats in each doorway, both inside and outside the home. Remove anything attached to the house that the homeowner has approved for disposal. This will ensure the most complete access and best quality of preparation. Remove any shutters. Prep and paint them according to lead safe practices, away from the house. Begin surface preparation by opening up any space between the siding sections that have been sealed shut during previous paint jobs. Scrape all surfaces twice. The house should now look something like this. Every house is unique, so the amount of time, effort, and resources required for each project will vary. You will find that many older homes with lead paint are in this post-scrape condition. It cannot be emphasized enough that cleaning as you go will maintain optimal efficiency and keep the work site safe. Wrap up and seal all large items of debris before carefully moving them outside the protected work area. Wash all exterior home surfaces by hand using clean water and towels. Change water and buckets early and often. Seal your bucket lids tightly, then carefully transport to the approved disposal location. Check EPA and local municipality requirements regarding wastewater disposal. Tighten up wall protection with clips to keep it from coming into contact with work surfaces. Assembled lumber braces will safely hold the protection away from the walls. Prime seal all trim. Prime seal all other surfaces. Rescrape, wash, and reprime as many times as necessary. Once preparation is complete and the certified renovator has signed off on the inspections, the protection may be removed. However, you may leave protection in place until the end of the project, especially during bad weather. Swipe all walls from top to bottom and bottom to top. Never cross back onto an area that has already been cleaned. Replace soiled swiping pads early and often. Wall protection is reusable if cleaned. Be sure to label the inside, inside, with tape and a permanent marker. Swipe all reusable items, tools, and equipment. Ground cover cannot be reused. Keeping it neat and tight, start at one end and carefully fold the sides into the roll as you bundle it together. Tape up the bundle securely so it's easy to carry and the contents won't spill out. HEPA vacuum around the whole house, in and around every surface, whether solid or soil, until everything is thoroughly cleaned. Have a certified renovator do a cleaning verification. Remove wall protection following a past inspection. Carefully remove protection from the home's inside windows, doors, and vents, and then wash windows with mild cleanser and clean cloths. Carefully transport and properly dispose of all debris. Fill out the necessary paperwork and mail a copy to the homeowner within 30 days of project completion. Take off personal protective gear after each workday until all preparation stages are complete. First, clean the ground of the changing area. Each worker involved in the project should follow this procedure. Remove your goggles, place them in a small bag, then take off your mask and add it to the bag. Tie bag shut. Use tape and a permanent marker to label your name on the outside. Step into a larger, clean bag and remove your protective suit, pushing it down as you go. The bag will serve as individual storage as long as protective gear is needed. Step out, remove your gloves, and wash your face and neck with clean water and towels. Wash your arms and any other exposed skin. Clean or dispose of used towels properly. Change into your street clothes, tie bag shut, and label your name on the outside. When the project is complete, this will become a disposable bag. Lay out, measure, and carefully fold any reusable wall protection. Be sure to fold inside to inside, 
only allow the outside to touch the ground. Tape the bundles together neatly. Label their measurements on the outside. Remove caution tape. Remove caution signs. Here are views of the front, back, and side of this fully prepped and primed house. Caulk everything thoroughly and complete any other necessary repairs. Notice the properly caulked garage, north side, front, and large ground level gap. Clean gutters before the final coat and make sure that everything is protected. Apply the top coat starting at the top of the house and working towards the ground. Clean all outside windows. Use a razor blade to remove the tiniest of flecks. Then wash windows with mild cleanser and clean cloths. Do a final sweep around the entire house using two workers, each with a HEPA vacuum, one following the other to ensure nothing is left behind. Reinstall shutters and anything else needed to go back on. Return anything else that has moved away in the beginning back in place. Here is the completed house from the front, north side, back, south side, and front porch. This is the same house prior to the start of the project. Properly protected, scraped, primed, caulked, and completed. Before leaving the job site, do one final inspection and cleaning verification. That's pretty close to everything you need to know. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your project.